Can we smash proof a pumpkin? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. There's a new sketch over on the Rhett and Link channel right now as part of Sketchtober where we're releasing five sketches, one every Thursday, and today's video is called BFFs. You're not predicting what, what I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say. say, you're just, you're just saying, saying it right, right after, after I, I say, say it. it. It's, it's like, like that, that thing, thing that the kids, kids do, do to annoy, annoy each other. other. That's definitely not what's happening. That definitely, definitely is, is what what's is happening. happening. So head on over to the Rhett and Link channel and check it out. Mythical Beast, a question is like a pumpkin. Once asked, it waits patiently in the pumpkin patch until a small child comes and plucks it from the vine. The child then brings it home, cradling the pumpkin in his chubby little arms. Then the child grabs a kitchen knife and hacks the top of the question pumpkin, spilling its answer guts on the floor of the garage. Today, we're here to help you sort through that viscous answer slime so you can get on with your day and stab a face into that pumpkin. All righty then. Okay, we asked you to ask us if you needed any fall advice. And the first question comes from Tamara B. Harry. It does. She asks, how can I enjoy fall when it's not fall in my country? This is very relatable to us because in this country of California, yes, we don't experience fall like we used to in the country. It's actually a state of, of North, North Carolina. Carolina. I'm trying to be relatable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, I miss uh, it. One of the nostalgic things about fall in North Carolina isn't just the leaves changing and falling off the trees, but it's people gathering these leaves and burning them. Yes. This is a thing. You burn leaves and for some reason, people love to put gasoline all over these leaves and burn them in very dangerous ways. And I was like, I'm, I miss that so much. You know what, I bet you I could go on YouTube and just type in leaf burning and see what happens. And let me tell you, it took me back. We created a little montage of just five videos that we found. Here it is, Link, in all its glory. Take me back home. Whoosh! <laughs> you hear that? Woo! That's appropriate response to that. You Look love at this guy. it, kind Through of, the fence. not really. Fence ain't gonna protect you, dude. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god! Yes, that's the appropriate reaction for that. Look at this one. This was like a huge figure eight. It's like look dominoes. at the, Look at the people begin to run out there in celebration. Man, that's Doesn't crazy. Does it make you want to go? Not at the field, man. Not at the cornfield. Fire in the hole. Famous last words. Oh my god. And lastly, look at this one. Right across the front yard. Whoa! I miss. I miss North Carolina so much. Well, I've had my fill of fire lately, so I'm actually uh, very grateful to be out here where there's no piles of leaves to uh, jump into a breaking ankle or to gasoline up and burn. Don't yes. do that. Okay, next question from Joel Parr who asks, pumpkin smashing is a huge problem in my neighborhood. How can I make my pumpkins smash proof? Well, we have decided to conduct a little test uh, to smash proof a pumpkin. Take that, Billy Corgan, bam! Um, so we have got three pumpkins here. Okay? Let's break them out. And we are going to uh, put some tests, put them against some tests. First one is, well, you can just cage your pumpkin. So here's the cage pumpkin. We're gonna take all of these outside and submit them to some large scale tests. Okay. Uh, Very sturdy. You can't sm you can't smash that, you little you, you little jerk. I'm having trouble getting to it. All right. Now this one. Okay. Look at this. It's, it's just a pumpkin, right? Filled with cement. Okay. So a cement filled pumpkin. <laughs> pumpkin number two. Heavy. Whoa. You okay? And then fight took my breath away. It's making you emotional. And then finally, a pumpkin. Sprayed with truck bed liner. Now, this is an actual pumpkin. It looks fake, but yeah, it's just that truck bed liner stuff we got, we got sprayed on. Okay, there. we're gonna put these through what we're calling the pumpkin trials. First up, we're gonna submit these pumpkins to the classic baseball bat. The choice of deviant teens across America. Okay, for every test, we're gonna have a control pumpkin. This is the control pumpkin for the baseball bat. Oh. Ho to hey, ho to ho, hey, hey. Let me wind up on it. Teenagers are strong. You can't even bust a normal pumpkin. All right, all right, all right. All right, so now the cement filled pumpkin. Really gotta let this thing have it. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, pop the top, you pop the top. Oh yeah, Link. Oh yeah, Link. Oh. Ow. Ow! Don't... 
Here, put it up here. They can't. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> we just got a little concrete turd left. Okay, now we're moving on to our patent pended pumpkin cage. Patent pended, not patent Pat pending. Yeah, it's pin it's pended. Do the honors. Oh, this is me? This is you, brother. Okay, so I'm just a teenager. I'm like, oh, look at that old person's pumpkin. Sing a vote. You fell. I, <laughs> I slipped on a pumpkin seat. <laughs> All right, so now we got the truck bed liner covered pumpkin. All right, I'm really going to let it have it this time. All right, so she survived. She's got a little dent right there, but that's it. Okay, I think the truck bed liner covered pumpkin wins this round. Let's move on to the next trial. What if you live on the upper floors of an apartment building? You think you could get away from teens up there? No, they're gonna climb inside. They're gonna grab your pumpkins. They're gonna throw them off the balcony. Link, let's start with the control pumpkin. X marks the spot. All right, control group, launch. As you can see, standard pumpkin smash. It is indeed a smash pumpkin. Okay, moving right along to the cement filled pumpkin. Three, two, one. We got some severe breakage in the bottom. I would say that's, that's a smashed pumpkin. Okay, moving on to the caged pumpkin. Three, two. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, we've got crackage. But not smashage. So it's crackage, but not smashage. Okay, and moving on to the truck bed liner covered pumpkin. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> bouncy, bouncy. Okay. It feels like we've got a little pumpkin jello in there, but you know what? Nobody would ever know. Looks like a totally intact pumpkin to me. Uh, upon further investigation, we do have some stem breakage but I can hinge that close and no That's one would ever fine. know. That's fine. I think once again, the truck bed liner covered pumpkin wins this round. Moving along, whoops. <laughs> what about when a devious teen gets a hold of an off-road truck with some big tires? All right, drive over the control pumpkin. Okay, bro. Ho, oh, stop. Look at that. Thoroughly crushed by the off-road truck tire. Back it up, let's get down to the trial. All right, we're ready for the cement-filled pumpkin. Is the teen ready? What? You might need a little speed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so. What is it? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I think we can thoroughly see we have smashed the pumpkin and left the concrete seed. All right, let's see how this caged pumpkin stands up to the off-road tire driven by a devious teen. Are you ready? Yeah, caged pumpkins can't stand up to my deviance. Bring it on. Give, give it some gas. More gas, there you go. Yeah. I'm a teen, man, hear me roar. Now I can't see through the cage, so I'm gonna lift the cage off. Up, oh, pumpkin smash. I totally smashed that pumpkin. Okay, so far it's Deviant Teens 3, pumpkin zero. Let's see if our truck bed liner covered pumpkin is any match for the truck. Yeah, 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 yeah! Look at that! Smush! See if you can throw it. Give it a little punch. <laughs> okay. That was cool, right? Woo! Okay, the uh, first annual pumpkin trials have concluded, and what we've learned is that the truck bed liner pumpkin stands out to a lot of things, but not a truck. So if you see a teen in a truck in your neighborhood, just say no to that teen. Hide your pumpkins, kids. Well, now you know everything you need to know about protecting your pumpkins. <laughs> yes. Now it's time for a segment that we like to call People Want What You Got. Everybody has stuff laying around their homes they just don't have a use for anymore. The truth is that you could easily sell that stuff on eBay and make some extra cash. Just because you don't want it anymore doesn't mean that someone else won't treasure it. No, so we have decided to do a little house cleaning and we found a lot of cool items from recent GMM history that we wanted to sell on yeah. eBay. And when we thought about the money we could make selling this stuff, we said, hey, why not donate that money to one of our favorite charities, Action Against Hunger. Action Against Hunger is a global humanitarian organization committed to ending world hunger. Their staff work to say the 
the lives of malnourished children while providing communities with access to safe water and sustainable solutions to hunger. So not only do you get to have a cool piece of GMM history, you're also donating to a worthy cause. Link, tell them what you got. I got this big honking yellow and black cellular telephone. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember me telling you about the first cellular telephone I had as an engineer. It was a construction phone. I thought because I was an engineer, I should get that yeah, phone. Yeah, you gotta have that durable phone. And I just, I, when I got really bored, I would just push buttons on it. You can also yeah. do that. You, you just, could just get a job that bloop, isn't bloop, boring. Just bloop bloop yourself whenever you can. Bloop. Yeah, bloop bloop yourself. So bid on this phone if you want to bloop bloop. The bloop, bloop, the bloop, bloop, bloop. Got the button right wow. there. This phone is exactly like the one I used to have. Well, and side note, if you've still got a phone like this, I would suggest it's time to upgrade to a new smartphone. Just a thought. And also bid on this phone because it is one of a kind. We have both signed it. Yep, I was there for that. And I also wrote, dial your mythical best Clever. on the side. To sweeten the deal even further, we have decided to give the winning bidder a voicemail greeting from the two of us. Ah, yes. Bid away, people. Red. Tell them what you got. Well, keeping with the black and yellow theme, Link, you may remember uh, we fed ourselves some tacos via drills in a previous episode. Give it a bite. <laughs> All right, I gotta, I gotta get a little bit. I got a little lettuce. Oh no. And then we follow that up with feeding ourselves corn. <laughs> so this is the drill that I use that I will be selling on eBay. But I will also point out that it can be used in everyday drill applications. Yes, it can. You don't have to just spin food into your mouth with it. Uh, we've also signed this one, Rhett here, Link here, and on the bottom, it says, drill your mythical best. Yeah. How are you gonna sweeten the deal I'm even further, Rhett? I'm gonna sweeten Rhett? the deal. I'm glad you asked, because I'm gonna sweeten the deal by throwing in some taco shells. Oh! I can't guarantee they won't break in shipping, but you know what? They're gonna be there, and they're gonna be taco shells. And they'll taste Bam! great. Bam! Click on the links in the video description below to buy these everyday items from recent GMM history on eBay. You're donating to a great cause to help starving children around the world. People want what you got. I sure am gonna miss that drill when it's gone. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and thanks to eBay for sponsoring this episode. You know what time it is. Hi, my name is Callie and I'm from Kentucky. It's my birthday, so it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Don't forget to click on the links in the description to buy our items, and remember, people also want what you got. It's easy to sell your everyday items on eBay to make some extra cash. Click through to Good Mythical More. We're gonna open your mail with Jen, and you can find out what this is. Story behind that one. Overly confident conversation about string theory. So anyway, yeah. I mean, yeah. Speaking of strings, uh -huh. the theory. Oh, the theory I mean, of strings. Th string theory. Yeah, uh, I you mean, know, it's... you can put string around fingers. Things. Yeah, to remember things. If you put it around your finger too tightly, it'll cut off circulation. Right, you'll lose the finger trying to remember. A, something. I knew a guy whose fingertip fell off because of string theory. Ironically enough, he was trying to remember the principles of string theory. Uh huh. And well, he should have remembered not to tie it so tight. Right, exactly. He's an idiot. He is an idiot. <laughs> I mean, that's he was just like walking through a, an abandoned mental ward. You know that had to be creepy. Creepy. And then he's stealing doorknobs when nobody's looking. <laughs>